Hi there. I've had some requests to um, share some information on using other resources besides EndNote. So today we'll have just a short introduction to Zotero. Zotero is free, yep, free research tool. Um, so you can uh, look it up online, download it, and put it on your computer. What's really nice is that you can sync your account with Zotero to multiple computers. So what you're looking at here is my big library that's got a couple of thousand citations in it. And what's also nice about Zotero is it acts, I use it kind of like a scrapbook for different references that I want to pull in, not necessarily peer-reviewed references, but news items, blog information. What happens when you bring resources in Mr. Zotero is it pulls over here on the right-hand side the meta data types of articles. So what you're looking at right here is my big library with everything in it. And if we expand the library here on the screen, you'll see I'm going to shrink this down. You'll see that I have articles and, and references from a couple different places. You can, uh, you can tag and bring in uh, graphics as well as uh, PDFs um, and, and, and then again peer-reviewed articles. So uh, it's very user-friendly. Uh, takes a little bit of massaging sometimes to bring information in. So if we look, for example, I've been doing work on CBD and cannabis. When I'm looking at, at pulling in different source materials, I can change and categorize my references uh, based upon where I got them. Um, so I can dig into the research gate, look at the National Conference of State Legislatures, get new examples, uh, my PubMed references, and that's what we're going to look at today just because it's easy, very user-friendly to, uh, to play with. One thing to note is that Zotero's interface with Safari on the Mac doesn't seem to work right now. So if you're working on a Mac and you want to use Zotero and import reference materials, then you need to use uh, Google Chrome works pretty well. Again, I don't know if it's stopping it from me, but it's just uh, it's, it's really frustrating if you find the right reference and you can't pull it. In. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip on my screen over to PubMed. And um, I, I just did a search here with the cannabidiol and anxiety and reviews. So I used the advanced search term, or, or search uh, field rather, and found 73 articles. And um, what I want to do is look at uh, through these and see if I can find something that might be interesting that I don't already have in my database. So the first couple of articles, here's an overview, here's a systematic view of dosing in clinical populations that might have something to do with uh, anxiety. Um, but let's go ahead and just scroll down and um, a systematic review of how safe is medical cannabis and treatment of mental disorders. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this and open up the abstract page. And um, it's got enough information here that I want to go ahead and save this into Zotero. So I'm going to go up in the top of my screen here. And I have given Zotero permission to access this only. I'm going to click on... Um, my connector here and then I'll pull down and I want to look at more. I want it to go in my CBD and cannabis folder but I also want it to go in my found it on PubMed. So CBD oil and hemp from PubMed. I'm going to put it in that folder and click done and the off first author is Hope. H -O -C -H. So now that I've done that I'm going to pop back over into Zotero. There we go. And Here's my article. So you'll see that it pulled in all the metadata, pulled in all the authors, pulled in the publication, pulled in the title, and these will give me search terms to search within my library. So all of this just automatically comes in. EndNote does the same thing, um, as does uh, Mendeley these days, uh, but it really does help you organize your reference material. So that way, when I'm working in a uh, manuscript, and I want to connect and find my references, I can then connect to Microsoft Word, which is what I use, to Zotero and pull my reference material. So we got a little bit of time on this short video. I'm going to go ahead and show you another way to use Zotero, and that is to pull in other types of articles. So I did a little search. I'm going to flip over here, just a basic Google search. Uh, I knew that Cureleaf gave some kind of research funding to the University of Connecticut. So I just typed in Pure Leaf Research Grant, and I found something else. Um, I actually found an article from the Philly Inquirer about um, Pennsylvania's growing 
research agenda in cannabis that involves a couple universities. So this is a newspaper article. I'm going to go ahead and click on this page and see if it will let me get free access here. All of that free. And then what we'll do is we'll save this into Otero as well. All right, so here's the article, and we can scroll down and see that, oh, for 99 cents, I can subscribe to the this. Um, it's got a little bit of news. It's got a little bit of information about who's involved and what universities. So for now, this is a keeper. Maybe I'll write an article about research collaboration. So again, I'm just going to come on over here and click on Save to Zotero. And this time my um, reference is not going to be from PubMed, so I want to go ahead and click on more. And come over here and say general web searches. This is where I found the article. So again, I'm going to click on done. Author here is Sam Wood. So let's see what Zotero put together for Sam Wood. So we're going to come on over here, open up Zotero. And it did pull the metadata from this article as well. So I've got a website title, got some information, got what I accessed it. I can go ahead and add the date in here, so some of my information wasn't pulled in, so I can put in, um, let's see, the date of the article wasn't dated at all. They pop back on over for one sec here, and this is uh, 3-7-2019. So 3-7-2019. That way I'll know what date it was published in the paper itself. So now that this is all done, uh, it automatically saves everything. The next thing that I can do is update my uh, my, so my local Zotero library to the web so that I can then import this into uh, my other computers because I'm always changing computers and kind of dragging them around the house and on the road. So I've just added two references because I've got about 2,700 references in here. It does take a little time to uh, to update. So that's something that I want to make sure that I do every time before I close. And that way I can um, find my references anywhere. You can pull in PDF articles and attach them here. But when you take your reference material for your library from one computer to another, it doesn't um, always pull the PDFs with you. So you do have the opportunity to take notes on different articles. You can tag articles if the terms are not in here. For me, this is usually pretty standard. Um, meaning the terminology is going to be in the title of the article, the abstract itself. So that's a quick intro to Zotero, um, and that will give you an idea of how you can use it if you're uh, taking a bunch of print articles and sticking them on poster notes around your desk. Uh, that can get a little hard to manage. You might want to give this a try.